I still need to, I still have been struggling to, to remember, um, uh, what is it? Uh, the 24 man raid in Stormblood. Or the Sears, it's the, ev I guess just the Evil East raids. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah. The Rose and the Unicorn. Sir Carlot has something very important to tell you. Come closer, lass, and listen well. Uh, this is for your ears only. Lord Francel is, is no uh, heretic. He is a goodly, righteous man, wholly dedicated to the cause. I know this because I served House Helenar for years prior to the uh, calamity. You must go to Skyfire Locks and warn him of the coming storm. The Inquisitors are ruthless and will spare uh, and will spare him no mercy. Speak to him of Edelweiss, and he will know you are for a friend. Now go. Yeah, I th you know, let me get into a conversation with him. I think I think that's the one from um, the firmament. Yes, you look as though you have something to say, do you? I seek an audience with the bearers of the white lily. I will go whither the wild rose blooms. Yeah, those are all other keywords or whatever passwords. Is that an Edelweiss in your pocket or are you happy to meet me? Wow. Not the most clever of uh, ways of yeah. I see Sir uh, Carla has Carla, Carla has not, not forgotten my mother's uh, favorite flower. A pity it has not been seen in Curthus since the Calamity. Uh, you may speak freely here, friend. That's, that's absurd. I would sooner die than become a thrall of the dragons. Alas, it matters little what I say at this point. Although the Draconian Rosary was not found in my possession, it will still be considered... Uh, by many to be proof of my heresy. I must do my utmost to prove my innocence to the Inquisitors, for if they harbor even the slightest doubt, uh, this will only add weight to the incessant accusations our house has suffered of late. It's as though the gods themselves are plotting our fall. You risk much by coming here. It is only proper that I recompense you for this deed. Tell me what you desire, and I shall do my best to provide. A missing airship, I see. It may require a prolonged effort to locate your quarry. I shall direct, I shall direct you to one in a better position to assist you. Lord Horchefant of House Forton uh, commands the garrison at uh, Camp Dragonhead. Present to him this letter of introduction, and he will surely be receptive to your needs. Yeah, there's some names I vaguely know how to say just because they've been said in cutscenes. But, uh. And maybe some of the other ones are said in cutscenes, and I'll pick them back up again. But yeah, Horshafon. Or Orshafon. Um. 
this will be interesting. So obviously like a, he's kind of a, a key character or whatever. And his death is like a, you know, a big thing, but like the first time through it, at least as far as I can remember, I kind of like it, it didn't really hit me or anything. It was just kind of like, okay, that happened. But kind of with everything that's happened since then, and like now, you know, like with the various lines that you say later on, um, it actually does kind of hit me now, like in those cases. So I wonder how it's going to affect me this time through. So I'm kind of excited now. Ah, the unmistakable swagger of a well-traveled adventurer. If you are come to pay your respects, be at ease, my friend. I am not one to stand on formality. Truth be told, I would gladly welcome many and more brave souls like yourself. But enough chatter. Pray tell me why you have come. Is there any justice in this world? These charges will receive no serious consideration. It is beyond inconceivable. Ah, yes. The letter made mention of a pressing matter for which you required assistance. What might that be? So this enterprise you speak of was last seen above Curthis before the calamity five years ago. I fear it may prove difficult to find any eyewitnesses to these events, for while Ishgar did not participate in the Battle of Kartno, we were embroiled in our own internal conflicts at the time. Nevertheless, I will make inquiries on your behalf and share with you my findings in the future. In the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of Camp Dragonhead. I will see that you are afforded every courtesy as a guest of House Forton. Yeah, it's interesting. I know that I've read how, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Horshafont is actually a bit different between the different languages um, and how like how do you put it like he's even more kind of I'd say forward with you in at least Japanese if not some of the other languages but he's more just kind of like you know hey best friend in um, in English The talk of Curthis. Lord Orchafon has a proposal for has a has a proposal for how you might participate in his investigation. As you have doubtless realized by now, the high houses of Ishgard, House Forton included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there are not influential individuals within each house. Who are sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives to their various representatives in Ishgard, though I suspect it would be quicker and more efficient if you were if you were make inquiries of your own. Lady Nene of uh, of mine own house Forton, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather uh, enjoys the company of travelers. There is also uh, Kravelin of House Halenart, who can be found at Skyfire Locks, though any information you pry from the scribe may prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Durandare yet? Really? Hmm. Perhaps he will be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House Forton. Uh, do not concern yourself with House Zemel. I shall contact them myself. Seek the counsel of the three I mentioned and return to me when finished.
So, uh, Zamail, I wonder how far off we are from, uh, um, I'm blanking on the name of the dungeon, but the Zamail dungeon. And we have Sid and, uh, Alfie here. I'm glad we left the observatorium. The people were, were not friendly. Oh, I wonder if they were actually over there and I just missed them. Though even here, I can feel eyes upon us. We, we are not safe. We came to find an airship, yet now we meddle in Ishgardian affairs of state. Gods, if Alizé were here, I would never hear the end of it. Why, hello, good madam. What's that? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely no one of House Fortan does. For if they did, I would definitely know as well. The topic on everyone's lips these days is what will become of young Lord Francel. Some say the allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Helenar have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. Hold up one sec. Okay, yeah, I'm still live on Twitch. Just, uh, OBS is saying otherwise. There we go. I mean, I guess it did have the live status, but... Halone, grant me strength. There must be some way to... Oh. Who are you? A friend of Lord Horshafal? I want to help you, I truly do, but these accusations of heresy have thrown House Helenar into chaos. Right now we must focus on combating these charges and preserving our reputation. I want to say, like, there are some YouTubers and stuff that, uh, you know, streamers that are, like, new to Final Fantasy XIV that are playing it right now, and, uh, you know, I watch some of their stuff. I try to not watch too much of it because of, again, like, I didn't want to be kind of re-spoiled or, or whatever, um, because I knew I was going to do this new game plus, so, um... I'll watch some of their kind of, I don't know, impressions videos or whatever. And um, I recall one of them, or maybe several of them, talking about how... I think I want to say it's the um, Company of Heroes. And then, like, when you first come to Kurthis, being kind of a slog. And like I said uh, last night, like, I don't feel Company of Heroes was a slog. I actually really enjoyed it. So I'm interested to see how this all goes. I gather you have been busy since last we spoke. Lord Horshafon, uh Lord Horshafon's missive was positively glowing, but if you think that his endorsement is cause for me to disregard Ishgardian policies, then you are sorely mistaken. We are at war, madam, 
and the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, in the short time since Inquisitor uh, Gilliman, uh arrived in Curthus, countless heretics have been discovered, even amongst the elite of his guardian society. If Lord Orchafon wishes to waste his days chasing after a long-lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. Again, I'm just thinking about, you know, the events of Heaven Heaven's Word, and it's kind of like... I mean, I get definitely at this time, this time, there's obviously still animosity between, you know, the Ishgardians and, and the dragons, but it's still kind of, you know, like, I just think of, like, I mean, really, kind of, it's not that important. We should deal with the primals and then move on, but uh, it is still important. Just wish, you know, both sides would stop, but we'll, we'll get there. By your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use. Nor did I, I fear. It seems the whole of Curthis is consumed by this talk of heretics in the high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgard proper provide more pertinent information. Road to Redemption Lord Orchafant is concerned for Lord Francel's well-being. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francel. Uh, of whom much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen heading north towards the Steel Vigil. The outpost was long ago overrun by the Dravinian Horde, so I am not certain what he intends to accomplish with such small force. Uh, whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Francel's party requires assistance. Ooh. So are we doing still vigil now? Because that's a, a pretty cool dungeon. You know, aesthetically and everything. It's... Oh. Isn't still vigil the other way? Or no, stone vigil is what I'm thinking of. Wow. So fast, so strong. We were no match. Ah. It's 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 not safe here. We must flee. Oh, there we go. Who goes there? Lavenza. No, stay back. The fiend is still here. Oh, it is nights now. Ooh. Unfit night. Confound it all. How how are we to redeem House Helenar? If we cannot even slay a single Avis. Uh, we are fortunate you came along when you did, miss. House Helena will remember your kindness. I heard the beast's cries from over yonder. Then Lord Francel is safe? Uh, bless you, miss. Bless you. Unsettled night. I don't remember what this one was called. Unnerved night. 
Looks like Lord Francel doesn't have the, you know, the best best guards. Or entourage or whatever. Curse those fiends. It's as though they knew we were coming. Probably did. There's probably a traitor in your midst. It's really <laughs> coming to be a, uh, a very common pattern. Or common occurrence. It was a foolish thing to do, I know. But I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the Skelkin. Moreover, it was House Helenar that yielded the steel vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these despicable accusations of heresy, and despite my best efforts, I have done not to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my pre uh, protesta protestation, protestations fall on deaf ears, I will proclaim my innocence to my dying breath. Yeah, I think I think it is Francel. I again keeping track of names sometimes is a bit difficult to me, but I think it is Francel that that's involved with the uh, the firmament because I remember it kind of being like like a bit of that story is about him kind of finding his calling. What did you find at the Steel Vigil? Ah, I see. A reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him and his knights their, their lives. I have news for you as well. A witness to the final flight of the Empire, of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Francel at Skyfire Locks not long ago. Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably reticent to make your acquaintance for fear of being seen in the company of a woman who might later be declared a, a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with which Inquisitor... Gailemi? Gail... Gail... I just need to come up with, like, I don't know, nicknames or something. Uh, Gailemane has... Uh, Conducted, okay, I'm going to start over. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with which Inquisitor Gylamine has conducted his investigations. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Frenzel's name, and by association, yours. Following the evidence... Uh, Lord Orchefant suspects that someone is conspiring against Lord Francel. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francel's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the, of the draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself recovered. If you would, please tell me of the incident in question. So, it was found in a locked chest labeled as the property of Lord Francel. If the rosary was not his, then someone else with, with axes must have planted it. Here is what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rickerman. Uh, he works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Curthis, so he may have some inkling of who could be responsible.
Just down here. What do you think? Larger and warmer than you expected, I'll warrant. This fort is also a place of shelter for the common folk. Tis better to rebuild a dragon-seared home than burn with it. Eh? Someone tampering with ship shipments? Fury strike me down. If all them rosaries found in our people's possessions were planted. Hey now, don't you give me that look, lass. I'm a house... Uh, Hailing our man through and through. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family, too. I ain't saying the porters what were bringing the shipment did it, though. I know most of them what work the trade routes, and I've never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it. Huh? Could it have been the fellas what were responsible for the inspections? Ha! Huh. Ishgardian knights and inquisitors? The lot of them? Uh, as if they'd ever turn their cloaks. Sorry. Uh, reckon that means the porters uh, are your most likely suspects. Hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming to camp uh, Dragonhead from Whitebrim Front this eve. You might consider having a word with them. Jeez. The struggle is real with this reading. This is kind of a lot of back and forth. Feels a little bit more than even like Company of Heroes. I mean, that was back and forth, but at least it felt like you were, you know, you were going between zones and stuff. This is like quick little jaunts back and forth. Beg your pardon? You suspect that we porters have been planting draconian rosaries in House Halenar's shipments? What nerve? If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. So each one of them had a, a rosary in it. Are we finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. Oh, just two of them. The brand of an unbeliever, an enemy of the Holy See. But but that's impossible. Once the knight at White Broom Front uh, concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if and if I had been the culprit, I would uh, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. Say what you will to Lord Orsafon. I will not be held accountable for this. So then that means it likely is the Inquisitors and... Was it guards or soldiers or something? Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Ah, but more importantly, what did Rickman have to say? More draconian rosaries in every single parcel bound for Skyfire locks? That beggars belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully House Helenar's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand. Yeah, I mean, if you're putting it in every single box, like... I mean, that either means it's a setup or, like... Everybody in House Halenar is incompetent, which, you know, could be the case. And praise Heloni that he did. Lord Francil's trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. Thank you for watching this video.
I've been making a ton of progress and having a blast doing it. If you have too, don't forget to blast that like. That's dumb. <laughs> Just hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you want to see me live, please come and join me on my Twitch. The link is down below. Thank you again for watching this, and have a good one.